it has started, it has begun. This is important. Chris the Carpenter here. I'm going to build me a CNC machine. Um, for those not in the know, CNC is computer numerical control, and uh, that's not important. The important thing is it's the thing on, if you've ever watched any buildy, building show on Discovery Channel, it's the machine that has the bit that spins and it goes, and it, right, that one? I'm building one of those. So today, the big news is my linear bearings and my ball screws showed up. <laughs> ball screws. All right. Um, this, uh, well, here, let's look. Okay. So this is, this is what showed up today. Um, and it's, uh, it's mostly what I expected, but... Um, it's hard to get proportions in my brain via metric. Um, standard, I can visualize it better. So this is smaller than I expected, but um, but a whole lot beefier. Oh my god! Okay, so these are the main rails, and there is my thumb. So those are like three, excuse me, like three quarters of an inch. These are about a strong half or five eighths. But what's funny is these these are the base this is the base unit and these two are the gantry so this is like x and this is y and so my gantry i guess my bottom line is my gantry is going to be wider than the travel of the whole gantry forward and back um case in point here are the ball screws you can see let's see if i line them up here um that's how much longer they are so uh, I'll show you all my goodies. Um, these are the linear bearings. I'll show you the sliders here in a second. And then here are the, uh, the supports for the uh, screw jacks, for the uh, lead screws, ball screws. <clears throat> these are the flux couplers that are the wrong size. Let's take a look. Um, this, this, is my, uh, this is my Z axis. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Uh, this is going to be big. Uh, although the pieces are smaller than I thought, the overall thing is... I mean, that's just the Z-axis. And look at all that motor sticking up the top. Um, the long and short of it, these are slideys. And they slide back and forth. Okay, if I can hold that down. Okay. So... That will have my router that will slide up and down. Actually, it'll go this way. Okay. And that is, for those that don't know CNC's, that is, that will be advanced by this screw turning. When this screw turns, this nut advances up and down these threads. And there's no slop in this nut. There's actually little ball bearings in there that ride in these grooves and they're I assume tension by probably some set screws that are underneath these little plugs to keep it nice and tight. Uh, so that that's how everything moves. This is the motor that attaches to this coupler. And as I said, the little hole there is the wrong size. I might be able to, to actually mill that out or I might have to buy some new couplers. But um, this is a very special motor. It's called a stepper motor. And... Um, it's able to turn in individual steps um, to make a full revolution. Its controller has to uh, physically step it <clears throat> uh, 200 times to make a full revolution. And you can actually break those steps into smaller steps, so it's very, very accurate. And because we can calculate how many threads per inch we have, and we can also calculate how many steps this is putting out and how many steps we're stepping it, um, we can thus calculate how far this nut is traveling up and down and thus how far the bit of the router is going up and down. Um, so, that's that. More goodies. <clears throat> Here are the other two motors and the, uh, those are control boxes. And under my soldering iron, there's a big old power supply. 
this is a parallel board. Um, this talks through the uh, what is basically an old school printer port, the parallel port, and uh, translates um, designs from the computer into a program that sends commands into uh, this guy, which comes out of this guy, goes to these controllers, and then controls these motors accordingly. But wait, there's more. <coughs> um, these are my uh, limit switches to keep it from driving off the tracks. These, <coughs> these are, um, these are my rotary switches. These are dual pole multi throw rotary switches. And basically what these are gonna allow me to do, these will go, uh, these control wires from this controller will go to these rotary switches. Um, also my Arduinos, which are little robot brains, which I'm also gonna control this machine with a robot brain, will also go to these switches. And then from these switches, will go to the control panel, so, or control boxes. So basically I can, um, flip, I can rotate these switches and select between parallel control or one of two Arduinos. That's a giant stop button. Ah! Okay, but wait, there's more. This is a bag of parts for an extruder. That thing right there is the actual extruder. It has a heating element in it. It gets hot and plastic is fed into it. This plastic, as a matter of fact, here, sit here on top of the laser. This is, um, this is the plastic that I was talking about. It comes on a big roll, looks like Weed Whacker line. And eventually this plastic will be fed into this extruder, which is very similar to a hot glue gun. And this extruder will not only attach to this, but it'll also attach to this and this. And uh, it will operate as a three-dimensional printer. Uh, you may or may not be aware of uh, MakerBots or RepRaps uh, or 3D printing in general, but basically I'm going to build a machine that can print things. I mean, it's just like a printer except it 3D things come out of it, objects come out of it. And this machine will build up layers and each time it has a layer it will advance up a very, 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 very small amount building these layers up as it goes uh, until you have a thing. So that's the quick, um, the FedEx guy showed up 10 minutes ago and I'm excited rundown. But, uh, oh, and then this on my ceiling, um, that is, that's a whole bunch of steel. And uh, that is the CNC machine right there, some assembly required. So, um, so that's that. This is the CNC project and 3D printer project. And I've got some other goodies in the works, um, or other good thoughts in the works. So as we sit now, uh, I have to, um, I got a lot of measuring to do. I got to go ahead and measure basically all of these pieces and actually design this thing and figure out uh, how it's going to work. Stuff like um, when these glides glide down, there's a relationship to how far these glides can travel versus how far this nut can travel versus where the attachment point for the nut is, um, plus giant motors sticking up and outside, you know, out the machine. So, um, so I've got a lot of math to do and a lot of drawing and a lot of cardboard templates to cut out and uh, and figure out. I can tell you this: I think the one thing that's going to be my lord and savior on this job happens to be this guy right here, um, my laser cutter. My intention is to um, use the laser cutter to cut um, to cut and etch uh, paper templates, drilling templates, and uh, and also to cut some plexiglass drilling templates. So, like for instance, these motors, I can actually design um, a pattern 
with these four mounting holes and the hole for the shaft and uh, and then go ahead and cut it out of plexi um, and then actually take that plexi full size attach it to the metal and then use those holes to either center punch where the holes are going to go or to actually drill through the holes um, so everything stays accurate so and Bondo seems to be excited so I think this guy is going to really um, save my butt quite a bit um, in building this thing so um, that's that that's ten and a half minutes of the opening of the um, CNC project it has started um, there, there you are it has begun this is important <laughs> I'm excited okay uh, more updates better made videos I might even edit videos and add like um, text and stuff like things you might want to know but um, there it is ladies and germs woohoo ting